Red roses nationwide are quivering in their stems. Those pretty prickly roses are going to get the snip, a dozen at a time. But there is an alternative that could save some stems. It's called ikebana, and it's the art of Japanese flower arranging. Instead of Western bouquets that pack in as many blooms as possible, ikebana embraces minimalism. A few branches here, a few sprigs there, and a few stems here. Miyako Ballesteros teaches at the Ikebana shop on Quinpool Road. You can see the space between branches or between flowers you know, or between twigs so that we appreciate each small part like the leaves, shape of the leaves or you know, flow of the lines of the branches. Jean Henschel is one of Ballesteros' regular students. Before snipping, she takes time to contemplate her pale pink carnations, her green and white flowers, and her maple branch. It's amazing, this branch has fallen, you know, it's been on the ground for a while, but it still has some sap in it. And even the buds are showing signs of opening. You see the kind of reddish on the ends? She looks at the curves and at the thickness of the branch, and then... And for cutting flowers, she's got a special trick. If uh, you can get airlocks, basically, it's just like plumbing. <laughs> so if you cut it under water, then, um, then there won't be any chance for the air to get in. Each arrangement starts with a flower container. They come in all shapes and sizes. Henschel uses a big, shallow dish. Henschel fills it with water. And if I do this right, I should get nice reflections. Uh, the branch should reflect nicely in the water. She lets something that looks like a steel soap dish, with spikes, sink to the bottom of her container. It's called a kenzin. It's like a bed of needles. (laughs) It's a mini bed of needles, and uh, you're going to cut the branch at a 45 degree angle at the bottom, and then you put it in upright, and you bend it to the angle you want. Each branch and stem is pushed into the spikes to be held in place. There are several styles of ikebana, and many variations within each. This makes a total of 80 possibilities. Miyako says not all variations look good from all angles. The space where you put the arrangement is very important to think about before you create. Henschel has just finished her arrangement. Miyako comes to make a few adjustments and steps back. Very good. Well done. For the Radio Room, I'm Emily Kitagawa, wishing you a minimalist Valentine's Day.